to do with baby? The baby, the baby, the baby. You are, you, when, when you burn the baby, you have to put it in a grave and don't do it. No, if you burn the baby, the baby will dance. Huh? Baby will dance. Wow, 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 wow. Dance, dance, dance. Okay. When you burn the baby, when you burn the baby, when you burn the baby, yeah. Yeah. he's going to be learning. So he can oh, yeah. All right, oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. What do you have to say about the baby? Oh, yeah. It is my tummy. It's my tummy, right? I am in the beach. Yes. It's Sunday. Yes. I am in the concert. Oh yes, baby's gonna go to concert as well. Yes, if I ah, you're gonna break that. I think the baby's gonna be a girl. So what do you think baby's gonna be? A boy or a girl? Okay. So what? Baby. Oh yeah, alright. I think you might get three right. boy, boy or girl. I think you can get three boys. Boy. Ah, boy. I what thought, another boy? Yeah. I thought ah. I, I thought I could get girl. four babies. Four babies. I want two of them will be girls. Five babies. I thought they would be boys. Who's going to carry all these babies now? Me? Yeah. Wow, wow, good, 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 good. Beautiful, beautiful. So you guys, today we are six weeks and three days. And yeah, I was, I was making mouths. I think I already made a video saying that oh, I'm, I was not feeling any symptom and everything. Now, I think as soon as I entered like six weeks, I started to feel symptoms. Major, major symptoms. Like I can smell anything from a thousand mile. I smell it. You know, my sense of smell is heightened. I have nausea 247. It's like 247, I'm feeling like throwing up and it's not coming out. In fact, at the point, I drank so, so much water so that I'll force the vomit. Vomit is not coming out, but I'm just having nausea. Like, it's like the, the vomit is here, like it's hanging in my throat here, but it just won't come out. So, it's making me just irritated the whole day. The whole day, I'm just like, I don't even want to talk because I just want to vomit. You understand what I mean? It's like, you understand? I'm, you know, when you have malaria, if you're Nigerian, you know what I mean? When you have malaria, and then you're just recovering from the malaria, the way you feel, as I'm feeling, like, loss of appetite, the food I like before, I don't like again. Before I can eat anything, I have to consult my mood first. I have to consult my stomach first. That, hmm, what do you feel like eating? So, like, I crave some certain food. Today, now, I'm, I'm craving, like, very hot spicy pasta or oh, i'm making this rice and then i changed my mind my mother does not like it so i said okay let me compromise because if i say i should make it because of me i don't eat it it's like i'm right i don't want to make this my own to disturb me so i said okay maybe we should make rice and beans together that one too if i say they won't bring me somehow then hot to you like i mean not hot like temperature hot like pepper hot my food has to be very peppery now i remember when i was pregnant for Ore. All the food that was my husband was so preppy when he's eating, he'll be scratching his head. And I, in fact, after I give it, he said, I will feel for me, Mufe, ah, after like I put a lot, a lot of pepper. So now I'm in that phase again where I'm putting so much pepper in my food just so because I'm, I'm irritated. I just want pepper so that I will not show up, you know? Yeah, food aversion. I don't feel like eating at all, but I force myself to eat for the baby because I know that baby needs to eat. So if I don't eat, baby will not grow properly and all that. So I have to eat to give baby nutrients. That's just what I'm eating. And I've noticed that the only thing I like for liquid, I don't drink water anymore. Water irritates me. If you are punishing me if you give me water. Even if I want to drink water, maybe ice block. So what I'll do, I'll start putting water inside my freezer now. So it will be ice block. So I'll start breaking it and chewing it. I remember when I was pregnant for it, I used to do that in a lot. I'll be chewing it. Ice block. Like that's just what I'm feeling. Like it's just shocking because honestly, people that say pregnancies are different. I can relate with them now because Aura was not like this at all. Aura, I didn't even know I was pregnant. I didn't feel anything. There was no symptoms. There was no smell. There was no vomit. There was no, no nothing. I was perfectly fine. It was like nothing was going in my stomach. But it is baby. Six weeks, so baby, that is still small. Six weeks, baby, I never, I'm not starting my first trimester. Home. It's already showing me that you were, I'm a different one, <laughs> you know. But I mean, at least all I'm still, I'm grateful to God. These are like normal pregnancy symptoms, so oh, it's just annoying and it's irritating. It's not making me very strong and productive, and I still have to work. I still have to work, guys. I mean, 
In Nigeria, I was a CEO. So the day I decided to go to my store, the day I want to sit down at home. But this one, you have to work. Mm -hmm. Chef D in the building. Father of two. Hmm. Are you ready for this? Father of two. <laughs> You're gonna be a father of two children now. It's not calling you daddy or and daddy another no. Maybe yeah. you know God God was one that that gave you Ori's name. Yeah. God doesn't give me a name for this baby. Uh -uh. <laughs> maybe pray now. Pray honestly, like Ori, when we wanted to give Ori his name. My husband was the one that just gave him, like, it was an, a name from the God that I probably even knew his sex. My husband just took my stomach that morning, just said, his name is Ore Oluwa. I said, hey? No, his name say, he said, the baby's name is Ore Oluwa. I said, hey? Ah. I'm not going to understand English very well, um, Yoruba very well. Um. He's not a very Yoruba, Yoruba no, person. No, Yoruba, yeah. They like, so for him to say his name is Ore Oluwa, I was so shocked. I knew that that he was inspiration from the Holy Spirit. It cannot be him. Never. My mom would rather give him like one English name, like Jason or Jaden. But he touched my stomach that he said the baby's name is Ogoluwa. I said, ah, okay. Oh. And just like that, we had Ores' name from his father. Maybe this time around. Well, we are still looking on to God for his for the baby's name. So on this day, I was feeling I was craving, not even feeling, craving pap. And I did everything in my power to look for pap that day. I went to like, I think, three different African stores before I found one. I'm sure you guys have seen the pap. I got the proper white pap. That's th that one that's very slappy. I would give you that pap vibe. I had to also buy powdered milk. Me, I have not had powdered milk in the past. How many, how many years since I came to this UK? I have not had powdered milk. It's all, I've always had like the UK milk, the, the liquid one, and I'm very okay with it. But I had to get powdered milk. That's what baby wants. Anything baby wants, baby gets. <laughs> After which, that same night, I was craving pizza. And I went out for that again. So because I'm dedicated to sharing the entire journey with you guys. This is a few hours. Yes, baby. Yeah. This is a few hours after I made that pop and drank it. Yeah. Yeah, the moon is so beautiful. So this is a few hours after I had that pop. I just went and lie down a bit and I started craving pizza. So I've gone to buy the pizza and now I just went to pick it up from the pizza shop close to my house. Truth is, it smells nice and all. I hope by the time I get inside, I'm able to eat it. Honestly, I know some people are watching me and I think, oh, this is extreme. This is not how cravings work. You are doing too much. Trust me, I am not. Even I myself, I cannot believe I'm doing all these things. I can't believe I'm craving all these things. Like, I'm doing things that I'm like, wow, for something, something is actually wrong. You know? Oh, you guys. So, yeah, that's the update. I went to pick up the pizza with Ore. He's just walking with me. We are going inside now to have the pizza. And if I crave anything again before morning, I hope it's something that I have inside my house already that I don't have to go outside to buy. Oh, okay. That's the update for now. I'll see you guys later. Guys late. Now, a few days after that day was the first time I vomited ever. It was really, really emotional for me. Like, I, I had to put off the audio of this particular video to do a voiceover because it was just too emotional so yeah i had like i vomited i was so weak and i, I needed to mix to you i already started preparing it but i just couldn't so i had to call my friend for that to come and help me and she drove all the way down to make that stew for me i'm really thankful to her you guys should say thank you to her in the comment section <laughs> but she helped me and she went to me about two hours later <laughs> two hours later guys she's just going on see she made me amala and soup mm -hmm. that's what i'm eating yeah my friend my friend for love for love thank you sure thank you so much yeah. bye. bye we'll talk when you get them bye what is okay now bye Mishi. And for this part, Bissot made me vegetable. Like, you guys, you see this woman? She's one of the people that was encouraging me to, ha to have another baby. Was encouraging me and my husband. Hey, hey, they shame me now. You guys should do another one. Do another one. I'm like, okay, when I do another one, I hope you'll be there to take care of me. 
<laughs> but look at her. She she said it and she did it too. <laughs> she sent vegetable for me. This vegetable was was sumptuous. It was fresh. Like she made it that same day. I ate it with like I think semo that night because I needed to go to work in the morning. It was it was an amazing vegetable. One of the most delicious vegetables I've had. So I'm really really thankful. If you're watching this vlog, thank you so much. I'm really thankful. I mean. This is pampering. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for cooking for me, checking on me, you know. Thank you guys. Like I'm surrounded with with I mean amazing people, loving people, and I'm I can't be any more or less grateful, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. To the end of my first trimester. How has it been? Okay, the last time you guys saw me, I was sick. Sick to my bones, but now I feel a lot better. Yes, baby. I'm coming. I feel a lot better. Um, I'm not. I don't feel nausea as I used to feel it. And but the only thing I, I think I'm feeling these days is fatigue. Especially when I finish eating. The moment I finish eating, like the moment I just finish eating and drinking water and balancing, this wave of tiredness will just come, and I'll just go and sleep because now nah, I don't know. That's just what I'm feeling now. The moment I eat, I get extremely tired, and I just have to eat the bed and take a nap. That's what happens. Um, the only problem is when I'm at work, I can't take a nap. So it's just a struggle. Especially when I have lunch at work. After having lunch, you're just like, bro, like you can't sleep. <laughs> you have to like, you know, you have to keep going. So it's just like, oh man, you know, that's just the only downside to it. But nine weeks, there's no bump really. You can't even know I'm pregnant if I don't tell you. And yeah, that's where we are. Hopefully, um, the end of first trimester i'll come back and we should be able to like finish this first trimester video but yeah so far i think this nine weeks i think from when i clocked like around when i when i clocked eight weeks and two days i started to feel like a lot of i started to have like more energy yes i started to feel more energetic from like that eight weeks and two days but you see that from four weeks when i found out to eight weeks it was brutal but i'm feeling a lot better now and the only thing is people have told me that if you feel very sick and you're vomiting it means you're having a girl but if you're not feeling sick and you're, vom and you're not vomiting it means you're having a boy so now it's confusing because when i first found out i was pregnant i was very sick and i was vomiting and all of a sudden now everything has stopped so is it that i'm, I'm having a boy or i'm having a girl like ah it's not making me feel like oh my god like i'm not wishing that the sickness will continue so that i can know that it's a girl i'm having because <laughs> i already have a boy but i don't know even if it's a boy what i'm praying to god for is a healthy and happy baby i'm not i don't really i i care really i want to have a girl so i can experience what it is like to be like a girl mom as well but just ignore my son, ignore him, he wants, he's obsessed with me, anywhere I am, he wants to stay in the same space with me, so just, you should just ignore him, ignore his shouts. So what am I saying? So, I'm, I'm a, if my, a healthy and happy baby is what I'm praying to God for. So yeah, good morning guys. Still documenting my first trimester, yeah? Today my midwife is visiting for the first time. Um, almost 10 weeks, and 9 weeks and some days, I'm not so sure now. She's visiting me today to like have my first appointment. Normally, I'm supposed to go into the hospital, into the um, clinic, but I don't know. I think they visit, they visit, they they can visit, and you can visit the clinic. So if they don't want to stress you, they can just be the one to come. So she's the one coming to my house today to have my first clinic appointment with me at nine weeks, almost ten weeks. Okay. And I'm just preparing. She's coming by 10. This is almost 9 o'clock. I just want to have oats as breakfast and have my bath. Just look nice. Because it's the first time I'm meeting her. She's going to be my midwife. So we have to like... We are going to have a long time relationship of 9 months. No, not, not 9 months anymore. At least let's say 7 months. Yeah. 7 months? Yeah, 7 months. So yeah, we still, we're, we'll be together for 7 months. So... I need to come correct today. Yeah, so I just had I just had my I just um, showered already, so that because of course it's going to come downstairs when she's here. So everyone just looks nice and welcome her into the family and this pregnancy journey nicely. Yeah, I'm gonna have oats now and get ready for her. I might just do some little clips when she's here. 
that's what happens really when you're pregnant in the uk it's either you visit them or they visit you so i even like this visit me option because can't be dressed into any clinic this morning i sound like this so yeah